Welcome to Love Love Tennis. How are you today, Jeff? I'm great, thank you. It's wonderful being here. It's a gorgeous day today in Beverly Hills. There's a lot of sun and I want to make sure that we protect people from the sun. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about who you are and about your fantastic product. So I have been involved in the sunscreen industry for almost 30 years. We've been making sunscreen for athletes and specifically for anyone who's doing sports who doesn't want anything thick or greasy or goopy but goes on light feels like a puff of air when it goes on and when it dries you don't even know you have it on so we're very proud of that and for any racket sport from paddle ball to uh, pickleball to tennis to rock climbing you don't want anything on your hands so ours you just mist it on and let it dry so after we talk here i'm going to be going out so will you do a little example of <laughs> how it works so you just mist it on like that and look at how it's spread with just that fine mist and these little bottles you get 170 little mists little sprays out of them you don't have to rub it you don't have to touch it you just let it dry that one has a light sage scent we also have one with a citrus scent and one that's fragrance free I have to tell you, I don't like the smell of sage, and this is delicious. So, <laughs> so love but, hearing that. But I love the way it smells. I love how light it is, how easy to put on. So when I am playing tennis, you know, before I play, I apply. But then while I'm playing, I want to reapply sometimes. And the problem with the ones that are lotions or even the sprays that don't mist like that is that you have to put them on and then you have to kind of rub them to spread them. Yes. How did you design this so that it's literally pss, pss, and it covers, it covers my face? So every other spray on the market uses between 59 and 79% alcohol. Alcohol is a very large droplet, so you have to spray a lot and then you should spread it because otherwise you're gonna get spotting. Ours is a particle 16 times smaller, so it's a very fine mist that you just spray it on and it covers that area and then you just let it dry. So you don't have to worry about reapplication, which everyone should, as I always say, don't be shy to reapply. Every two to four hours, depending on activity, perspiration, and your own you know, melanin content, your own skin tone. The second reason I love your sunscreen is because of the ingredients or the lack of ingredients. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that? <laughs> so there's been a lot of misinformation when it comes to sun care, but we have dermatology approved ingredients and our carriers are very unique because they're very sustainable. So our products, they actually biodegrade and degrade. So they'll go back to CO2, silica and water, which is sand. So we are very proud of our environmental stance and that's why we don't do pressurized containers. It's actually a little pump spray. And the reason being is those pressurized containers, they go straight into landfill. Ours you can put in your blue box, in your recycling box. Wow, that's incredible. And one of the things about your sunscreen is it's never gotten clogged. You know, I keep it in my tennis bag, so it's in hot, cold, windy, this, that, but it never gets clogged. How did you manage to have a sunscreen that you can use and not clog? <laughs> well, I'm happy that you said that because once in a blue moon it will, but most of the time, just because it is a fine mist, it doesn't clog the, you know, the sprayer. It's fantastic. The smell is good. I love that it's biodegradable. I love that the package is recyclable. Tell me a little bit about how you came up with the scents. So the scents we were trying to, so Boo or BU comes from Malibu, but the bigger message is to BU. And I was looking for something that was indigenous to Malibu and I thought about seaweed, kelp, but what we found was sage grows wild there. So that's how the sage came about. And the citrus was just because we wanted to have something that was a little sweeter, um, but not overpowering. So our fragrances, they're natural essences. So they are very light and they do not affect anyone's microbiome. So we are very pleased about our scents. Our sense. That's amazing. I actually have, um, I only use the sage because to me it smells like fresh rain or ocean. It's very a water smell to me for some reason. Can I have a little smell of the citrus? The, the citrus I have. The tester is behind you? Yes, or? hang on. Let me grab it. This one is again very light. Oh, I can pump it up. Oh. That's really nice. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so you have two different sizes. Yes. I use the smaller size of my tennis bag. How many how many sprays do you get? 170 sprays of that little bottle. So as you saw with your hand, that's, you know, to do your face, your arms, your legs, if you're wearing a skirt or shorts and short sleeve shirt, approximately 20 sprays. So it goes a long way. So we don't market it as a value brand, but it's actually great value. And the big bottle, you get 500 sprays. So that'll go a long way, 20 to 25 full body applications. Yeah, I keep the big bottle at home and then the small bottle in my bag and the car actually, so. Love it. So tell me how much they are. So the little ones here for $10 goes a long way and the larger ones, uh, 22 to $24, uh, depending on the SPF 30 or the SPF 50. Yes, that's right, you have two SPFs. And an SPF 30 blocks 96.7% UV. An SPF 50 blocks 98. So you're only getting 1.3% more. But because of that, it takes a little longer to dry. I like the 30 because it dries quickly. My wife likes the 50 because she has dry skin and it helps to moisturize. Lovely. Well, uh, it's available now to purchase yes. at Love Love Tennis in Beverly Hills, two blocks from Rodeo Drive on Brighton Way. And we have both the 30 and the 50. Yes. We have both the large bottle and the small bottle. And uh, we have both scents. And I love it. Love Love Tennis. Love Love Boo. Good scene. <laughs>